Good morning, everybody, and we thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, hump day, March 31st. I'm John Muller. Last day of the month for March. Yeah, I'm ready to bid it, it bye bye. I'm uh -huh. sure you are too. I'm Kirsten Cole in for Vanessa Freeman this morning. We're going to start with a look at your weather and traffic. Jill Nicolini here this morning. Hey, Jill. Hey, good morning, everyone. We did deliver yesterday. It was a beautiful day, correct? Will you agree on that? Yes. Gorgeous. All right, good. Current temps look waking up a lot warmer than it was yesterday at this time. 50 for the city, Armonk at 46. And take a look at this 24 hour temperature change. Yeah, so it's 24 degrees warmer right now in West Hampton than it was yesterday waking up. Again, announcing some federal changes to try and address this wave of anti Asian. Harassment. F and J, can you memorize that? I can't. Uh, all those affected right now till five, that'll all clear out. And the rest of your commute looking okay here with Metro North. The Long Island Railroad, New Jersey Transit, PATH trains on are close to schedule. But don't forget the 23rd Street and the 9th Street station are closed till 5 a.m. In the meantime, alternates have the street. Asian woman in Health Kitchen, and we are learning that he is no stranger to the law. Pix 11's Anthony DiLorenzo live at the scene with new information on the suspect. And Anthony, this guy, we got a very clear look at him because of that surveillance video that police released. Suspect. And Anthony, this guy, we got a very clear look at him because of that surveillance video that police released. Phil Murphy will be touring the new FEMA vaccination site in Newark. It opened earlier this week at the NJIT campus. The governor is going to be joined by Mayor Robinson. I mean, clearly, they need journalists on board. Pretty cool, right? Clearly. Would you? Would you really? They said, do you want to come up on board and document this thing, uh, all expenses paid? I think I'd say yes. Would but you need to see the schematics? Yeah, <laughs> I'd do a few interviews. All right. All right, a hospital in our area busted for charging people thousands of bucks for simple coronavirus tests. Tuesday, March 31st. We say it every time we say that, the last day of March. That came quick. Time right now, 531. I'm John Muller. I'm certainly ready to welcome in yeah, April tomorrow, sure, even if it is a foolish day. I'm Kirsten uh -huh. Cole in for Vanessa Freeman. Here's what we're working yeah, on for residents to vote. The chilly weather coming up soon, but we'll get through it, right? Uh, also, you'll get through this. Unfortunately, it's an overturned truck now. This is on East Coast. Our packed into plastic. Walled rooms built for 32 people at the largest U.S. Customs and Border. This morning is this closure on the Bruckner southbound between Westchester Ave at exit 8A into 7C Country Club Road. We have an exit um, investigation here. Uh, in the meantime, I want to point out uh, other alternates here starting to get Be filing criminal charges against the owner of the pit bulls that attacked and killed a young boy. Three year old Aziz Ahmed was killed earlier this month. The nation for an end to the gun violence continued this morning as the number of shootings surge in the U.S. Just in New York City, there have been. A report right now system wide delays with your path trains, some mechanical issues. Again, it's affecting all. I'm still trying to get myself <laughs> together my, here. Monty Saul is talking to Chloe Chambers. I'm talking to Chloe Chambers. The last time we met this heroine, she was breaking the Guinness World Book, Book of World Records for her race car driving. Brutal attack of an Asian woman in Midtown. We showed you that shocking video yesterday. The suspect, an ex-con on parole, now in police custody. And as the number of cases of hate crime against Asian Americans do surge, President Joe Biden is announcing new measures to stop discrimination and prevent future attacks. Let's get to Pix11's Anthony DeLorenzo, who has more details about the incident and the suspect.